Hey, what's up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 74 and today I just want to tell you guys hopefully you guys had a wonderful 2019. Hopefully it was full of glory and fun and pretty much hopefully some of you guys did complete your goals for the year. Because I know I did some, but like, uh, and I'm not ashamed to say it, you know, most of the goals were not completed, but um, in real life, you know, there was a lot of goals completed on that point so i'm happy about that you know not completing goals in youtube is not going to put me down it's not going to put me in depression mode to be honest this is just a hobby that i really enjoy a lot no matter if i do get low amount of views if i get a lot of good views if i'm involved in controversies especially since i did get the most disliked video as a personal record you know pretty much over i believe it was like over 800,000 no not 800,000 over 800 dislikes or something like that i'm not sure how many it was but you know i was involved in controversies also the latest video that got taken down that was another controversy i was involved with so um it was a hell of a ride this year it really was um you guys have you know pretty much followed me through the whole journey of this year of how i evolved in video games and you know how i pretty much can just jump in and start wrecking and start adjusting and you know and all that stuff it's been it's been a hell of a year you know pretty much you guys have been very loyal to me to those few viewers that have always sticked around you know yearly some of you guys have been here for a year or two and uh i still have old damage ink members you know from modern warfare 3 era coming by and saying hi you know which is amazing some of you guys have already graduated and uh you know doing your careers and all that stuff and i'm i'm glad and i'm glad some of you guys are still stopping by too I mean, it's 2019 to me is really not of a failure of the year in YouTube. It's more like um, I did whatever the hell I wanted. <laughs> Just like 2018 also. I mean, 2018 also did whatever the hell I wanted. But this year, I felt like more freedom came in, to be honest, of whatever I wanted to say. Um, I don't know. It's just I felt like that. It really felt like that. Do I consider 2019 a successful year? I'll just say it was a year of, you know, showing you guys, you know, I guess a journey. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what this 2019 means. But to be honest, it's just another year where some of you guys have been seeing my journey and um, try to evolve as a YouTuber and try to implement new styles and all that stuff. And it's been it's been fun. And uh, I know I don't say this much, but I do enjoy talking to people, random people on the internet. And uh, some of you guys are really positive. I know some of you guys have your days and, you know, and don't want to say nothing because I do see viewers come in and out. I mean, it, it's a fi it's fine. You know, it's fine. I mean, I'm shy on myself, too. That's why I don't talk that much in the lobbies and Call of Duty because, you know, I'm Latino. So that means I'm mostly going to get a lot of racism remarks, and I'm not kidding about that. That's why I don't put my mic on. That's why I don't ever put my mic on in, in Call of Duty lobbies, because it's just racist 24-7. So, um, anyways, going back to the year. <laughs> Sorry for getting sidetracked. Um, I'm hoping the year 2020 does bring me a lot of new challenges and maybe another controversy or two. <laughs> but I'm hoping this time you know, it could be a positive one, a positive change. And uh, I'm hoping to some point, you know, really get across to people's mind and saying like, man, this guy is something else compared to other YouTubers. And I try to be something else. I'm not trying to be no one that that's done something. I know this is my style. It's classic old school commentary, but I'm planning to, you know, make it stick around. I'm the only one in YouTube right now doing this kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. How many YouTubers out there are doing commentaries for Call of Duty? Like any like under 2,000 subscribers, barely anyone. So most of them are live stream too. So because live streaming is the new service to like really, you know, share out there and pretty much keep your viewers interested. But I'm still keeping this old school style. And uh, it, to be honest, it doesn't bother me. To be honest, it's just like more, it gives me more time to express myself in a certain way and be planful with what I say and all that stuff. And it's it's something that I'm willing to keep into 2020. So um. All I want to say, guys, I'm hoping your dreams come true in 2020. I'm hoping you guys change for the good. If you had, you guys had a bad year, I'm hoping this year could be your positive one, your number one year for striving into your goals and achieving everything that you want. And uh, I'm hoping I, I achieve a lot of things too. So um, that is it, guys. I want to talk about today, just a little bit, a little bit humble, and. Uh, 
Hopefully you guys stick around for another year. I promise you there's going to be more crazy moments in the gaming for me and a lot of things to show you guys. So that is it. See you guys later.